Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now, I'm in Australia. It is freezing cold, freezing cold. I said to my husband, even an Eskimo just stays in his one room, doesn't he? <laughs> oh dear, it must be freezing where there's Eskimos. Okay, so um, I haven't been on for a while, been a little bit down, but I'm okay now, I'm fine, I'm good. I've, I wouldn't want to come on here and, and, and make everybody miserable because I am feeling not. but I'm good. I feel good, I feel... I'm okay, I'm not stressed out, I hope. <laughs> now I'm going to do a, a, a video today on something that I made a long time ago when I seen this on um, somebody's channel, and if I can figure out who it was then I'll let you know. But it's something we do with an envelope, okay? So I've got all different sizes and shapes of envelopes here. And um, let's make a little... Um, Thing. This is a pink one, and I like it not only, not only because it's pink, but it's only thin. I mean, you could use a, a heavier one, like I've got these here. This one, I think I've stuck them together. Well, that's not going to help. Um, you can get really, really thin ones, or you can get um, thicker ones. You know, there's all different grades, I suppose. There is. Oh, here, the, all these are thin. I just picked up this stuff out of the envelope box. That's not the right size for today. Sitting that there, I have bits and pieces around me here that I collected up to make sure that for the next couple of tutorials I do that I will have something to show you. But I'm going to do it with the pink one. Let's do it with the pink one because I do love pink. And um, yeah, so anyway, we're going to make a, like a little flip out booky thingy. Here. Anyway, so I like to find a center piece here where we get the center mark, and I'll put a little tiny mark on there. That small, I can't even see it myself. Look at that. I need to fix this. That's bad. Shocking pencil. <laughs> this one's a bit better. Now I can take it off later, that mark. So you need to do, you fold this one in here this way. Oh, I've pressed it down because I'm sure of myself now. <laughs> Don't press it down until you're sure of yourself because you just want them to butt up against one another like that. Okay? You just need to do that. And I know I should see me bowling folders out in the other room where I was out there. And I've left them there. But anyway, I have about three or four of them. So we'll just do the back of the, 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 the your scissors work, you know. And you can do this with any sort of envelope. You don't have to have anything particular, you know. You can. I don't think it works very good if they're only small and thin. This is, I don't think that would work as too... Unless you want to make a tiny one of these. Okay, so we do that. We fold that like that, okay? So you've got this bit. And then you open it up like that. Right. And I'm looking for things to put in my next journal. Only thing is, I don't know what it's going to be. I tried to, I tried to make it one thing. I tried to do that. I thought I was going to make it um, flora and fauna or... Uh, nature or something, and then I go and I look at my things and oh, I've got a lot. I might do a vintagey sort of one. I'm not actually a vintage, not actually. Anyway, we won't know because you know Sonia just works along and it'll turn out to be whatever it becomes, and and that's okay, isn't it? You know, you got to have fun in your craft and you can't let it stretch out. And I have been trying for three days, for two or three days, to figure out what to put. <laughs> this is if I do this thing. So then you've got that, see? It's one of those. It's like a little, it's a, um, yeah, you can flip it that way and that way. Why, why was, didn't that work for me properly? That didn't, that turned that over and I don't like the idea of that. Maybe I should just cut that bit off a bit lower here. Maybe I didn't take this down far enough. So I'm just going to very carefully take a tiny little sliver because it's only bees a tiny little sliver that could get in your way and make it too hard to deal with, hey? There we go. I don't know, I think it was two... I know two degrees isn't very bad for people who have a really cold country, but this is not supposed to be, I don't think. <laughs> not supposed to be, but you know what I mean. I'm not used to this really freezing cold. We have heating in whatever room we're in. And then, like, I never leave the heater on for night time, though, while we're asleep. Because 
Well, they say that you can, um, breathe, if it's, there's a fire, you can just breathe in the smoke and die and not even know there was a fire. And <laughs> that's not good. So it, we turn it on before we go to bed and make the room warm and then I have electric blanket, but it keeps me warm. And my husband, <laughs> last night, I woke up and we were fair, fair right, really close to one another and I was blood perspiration. <laughs> this is not good. We cuddling over to one another, try to keep warm now. Anyway, <laughs> he's usually on one side and I'm on the other because we like our own space. <laughs> anyway, never mind. Enough of me personal life. Um, will this fit? Will this cover it? It could do, but then I'm going to lose that pointy bit, which is a shame because I bought this book and I've had it for about three days. Actually, I bought it, I had it a day and I lost it. I couldn't find it anywhere and I just found it a minute ago in the thing where it shouldn't have been. So I need a piece of paper, 12 by 12 sheet would be good, or you can use something out of a, um, I don't think I'd use the paper out of the, what have we got here? Is it a dictionary or some sort of thing? Yeah. But it's not big enough. <coughs> no, let's get a piece of paper out of one of these 12 by 12 sheets. There's, uh, you can use, um, I could use the, what's the name, paper, music paper. But I need to find one that's very that's pretty sturdy. I don't want one that's like old and dying because that's not a good idea. I don't mind that, but it's not gonna no, it's not gonna work for what I want to do. I did I did um, stand up here today and get a whole heap look through a whole heap of them. But they're all turned sideways and I've got to straighten them up a bit. Um when I say that I mean that they're bending over and that's not good. And I couldn't find the piece that I thought I'd like. So here I am now still fishing about because I need something that's only thin. So you don't need to have a... Hang on, I've got something here. I was looking for my plain pages too. Oh, that's a bit, that's a bit um, scary, that one's a too, too pink, that one. I must have something here, surely. I don't know the amount of stuff I have. I don't, don't know about that, all that. This is not too bad, I suppose. It's kind of not my idea. If I make something and I don't like it, I won't use it. And that's not good because then it just builds up in the room and I just get more and more stuff that I've got to put away or whatever. Right. You sit up there. Now, this is really nice. But I found my glassine bags. <laughs> and now they're falling down. Um... I find these things, but I never actually have I really lost them at all. So. Mm -hmm. Not what I want with telephones. That's nice, but it's very thick. You want something that's still going to bend. That's really thick, that is. It's really nice, but isn't it? <laughs> I need something that's not... Uh, maybe get some plain bits. Not, as you can see, it's not in orderly fashion. That's me for you. I don't even... Oh dear, I thought I'd be able to find a piece of paper real easy because it's there. I have a lot of these bits I really love. I can't, cannot do that with that though. Just, I think they're too thick. <laughs> I will do something with them. I did take out a paper pad. I took it out to the other room. I keep doing these things. I do not want to turn this video off. Please, people, just hang on, hang in there and wait for me a minute. Well, I'm trying to find a piece of paper. You wouldn't think it'd be so hard in your draft room to find a piece of paper, would you? I think I've got it now. Well, I've got all these, which I really love these. I'm going to have to start doing something with these. Look at these. Oh, dear, look. Isn't they pr aren't they pretty? Fairy things, that'd be nice for a fairy journal. Right, stars. This one's nice. These are all thin, I think. Yeah, that's only a thin piece of light. I don't mind that bit. Put him up there a second. I like that piece. Don't mind that blue. 
It's all got to match and go properly when they're finished, don't they? I like the hip ones. I won't be using... Oh, that'll do. It'll do this, eh? And if it doesn't actually fit in the next journal I'm making, it'll go in the one after, won't it? That's right. Okay. Now, you don't have to cover it over always, all, all over if you don't want to, but... I might even just have a little flower on it. What do you reckon? So, now we go, we're going to cover the back bit. And so that's going to have to be stuck down there like so. Right. What have I got under there? This. Okay, right. Use a bit of glue stick. Why not? Piece of paper. I'll have to use a bit of this. Dictionary, I think I'm sure I've got more. I'm putting it on here, aren't I? Right, eh? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do some timing on this. I should have started that early. Well, that's a lot of glue stick. Anyway, you don't want to be skimpy. You don't want to skimp on it because glue stick does glue very well if you use a lot. You know what I mean? You don't want to just fly over it really quick and just think, oh, that's not sticking. It does work. Ooh-hoo. Ooh-hoo glue does work. And um, now I'm not selling my stuff on Etsy anymore because they're charging too much money for things, right? And the, and the shipping and everything I mixed up so bad the other day I didn't charge shipping. <laughs> and why that wasn't good when I was posting out. I hope you people who are watching this bought those things off me because. I've posted them to you. I sent them last week. Last week, last, the beginning of oh, Tuesday, maybe. I think it might have been. I don't think I even wrote up there that I did, but I've got nothing up on my Etsy now because I don't want to. Um, I don't want to sell on there anymore. It just ends up costing people way too much money. It does. Me and um, <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, very good learning process. I've always said, I've said a few times to my husband, not always, but I've said to him a few times, I'm not going to sell on here anymore because it just, they charge too much. Um, by the time you're finished, well, <laughs> I don't know what to say, I can't really say. I made a really big mistake uh, and didn't charge any shipping, and that's okay. I mean, I really um, appreciate all my subscribers and the persons that bought my things off me. I never had any shipping on them, and that's fair enough. I'm sure, sure I didn't on the things that I've sold. And um, say for for fifty eight dollars, I got twenty eight. It, um, it's just ridiculous. It really is. I'm only going to be shipping in Australia from now on. Anyway, I'm not going to be sending things overseas anymore. It just costs way too much money. It's ridiculous. I posted a thing to a lady, and I'm not saying, I, you know, I'm not going to complain because I, I'm just telling you a fact about what I did wrong because I didn't understand it would cost that much. The thing I sold was only a very small piece of my work. Two of them I sold. And they cost me, one of them cost $22 to send. And it was just like an, uh, in an envelope, like this. And it's only if you, $22 to send to the UK for a, a, like an... Uh, <laughs> and I think the one that went to America was 13 And that's just really scary. And then Etsy charged the... People over in the UK, $9 tax. Um, I think they charge them that. I don't think they charge it to me. I hope I put the right things down for the lady because I was supposed to write... I wrote down this... Um, what's the name? I had to go on there. Hang on, i better turn this over before I do that so you can turn it over like that. So anyway, I'm really pleased that you, you people have got my pieces of work. I don't care if it did cost me a little bit more money than I thought it was going to do to send them. It doesn't matter. I don't care about that. All I worry about is what people are going to charge you. And I'm really, 
I had to have this code that I had to put in so they wouldn't charge her any more money, Etsy wrote, that I had to put this code on. So I, I did. There wasn't a place to put it, but I put it there. And I hoped that it got to her all right and she didn't have to pay more because I wrote down that she'd already paid this and, you know, this fee that they charged. I don't know if it's Etsy or the postman. I'd <laughs> anyway, it was... um. It wasn't a good experience for me and it wouldn't have been for them either because, uh, you know, having to pay all that tax and then different things as well. The thing only cost that she bought only cost her $40, $45 and she had to pay $9 tax. Um, I don't know who, well, I don't know who gets that, the postman, the government, I don't know who gets that. I mean, I don't, I don't want to be taxing anybody. There you go, so that's that. Look, it's covered there. It's a look, I made a bit of a interesting crinkle. I'm going to get the crinkle out. Okay. So now I'm going to do the inside. That looks cool, doesn't it? Now, you can put that in your journal on a paper clip or you can just glue it in, and I think I'm going to glue mine in, so therefore I'm not going to see that bit, but that doesn't matter. That will not matter because then it's this nice pocket thing, isn't it? So now I'm going to do the inside, which I've been, uh, which way, I usually put mine in there like that, but that's not going to fit because it's got a picture on it, I'll have to cut the picture off, get a bit bigger um, thing, so anyway, if anybody wants to buy anything from me, you'll have to, you'll have to send me an email, that's alright, because I won't be putting my stuff up there anymore, took everything off there. I still have that journal, but it's, <laughs> I'm not um, <laughs> I'm not doing that anymore. It's too much money for people to have to pay for the shipping and that. I don't know if I want that curly bit there, do I? Well, it won't matter. I've got to do that piece first, don't I, too, as well, which I'll do in a minute. Let me do this bit first. I'll have to think about the other bit. Uh, so now what you need to do then is put glue in under here, on here. And there. I don't know how far down that paper went. I just hope I don't stick all this together. I won't be very happy with life if it all sticks down. Just put it under the edge there because it's going in there a little ways. Put under the edge and get your piece of paper and then I'll put that piece down in there. And no, it's got here, yeah, this bit. <laughs> I'll figure it out in a minute. Nobody panic. Oh dear, do you think it's stuck? No, it didn't. That's good. See, but it went down in there. I mean, not this bit, so I didn't get in there. Sonia, yeah. it didn't get stuck, so I didn't stick the wrong thing down. Then I turned over. Cut around here very carefully, like. Let me just take this bit off so I can. And then I, I don't go around corners, I can't. So you've got to come up here and do this down this way. That's what you do to come to each corner like that. And that one needs a bit more snipped off it. So come down your side there, then go around. You can't cut around the corners, <laughs> I think. Okay. That's good, that's good. This bit here hasn't been done yet. Uh, yeah, I can see that I have to cut a bit more off that bit. Okay. So we've got sunshine. But that doesn't mean anything. This has got a tiny curve on it. Press. Burnish it all down so it stays stuck down, okay. Now, right. I do, uh, the only reason I sell a bit for you things is because my house just gets <laughs> over, over full and stuff with things that I make, see. So maybe I won't be making any more journals, but I'll have to be making some. Um, 
what's the name? Just embellishments, I suppose. I don't know. I have no idea about that at all. So, um, I do have a thing here. A wee card. Which I don't think I can get to because I think it's very really heavy on a piece of paper. Uh, the cat was the cat was playing with the piece of paper. Loves a piece of paper. It was in some stuff I bought the other day. And he does like to get into it. I just want to make a crease along here. <clears throat> which I probably should turn it that way. I just want to make a little crease down along this thing here. Sonia, haven't you got a bone folder anywhere? I do have other things that you could use, like... Um, They're both out of there, aren't they? I've got two things here that are supposed to have bone folders in, but I've taken them out. Um, just give me a second. I'll make a mark somehow. I don't really want to do that. Let's do it with a the ruler then. If I could show you how to do it with a ruler, you wouldn't have to have one of these. I have one of these, small one of these, and a small guillotine so I can take them with me, but then I like to use them both. <laughs> All the things that I bought, you get favourites, don't you, that you like. So just get your ruler and line it up with the... There you go, look at that, it worked. I do say I'm surprised, do I? Well, maybe I am. And if any of that's lifting up... So, I have got a few little dents in it there, but I'm not going to be too scared about that or too worried about that because I'm going to cover it anyway with paper. So hopefully it'll work for me. And then I'm going to decorate a bit with something. Something nice, not too much though, because, see, even with just the envelope and the um, paper, because we've got, there's three, four, you've got four thicknesses, haven't you? You've got, oh no, one. Well, it will have four when you've covered this bit, which I've got to figure that out now. I can't remember how to do that. Anyway, I want to put, I want to put the flower on there, eh? What do you reckon? I'm going to have to cut this really straight. So I'm going to have to really straight, please. I'll take this off here. Now, usually, when you buy a piece of well, when you go to these books, one side of your paper should be um, straight. So use your straight edge, put it on. Now, this here, I, I sometimes make a mistake and I go and measure it up to the, this bit. Um, see, there's a piece of plastic there, but it comes out further here, the blade, the blade's way over here. So you've got to make sure when you're doing with one of these, you do that. <laughs> Otherwise, you might make a mistake like Sonia come, comes up with sometimes. <laughs> How far has this got to be? I'm going to cut off that. <sighs> it doesn't have to go up there, does it, Sonia? No, it does not. Now I'm going to line that up there with that bit. And this up here with the cutting part, which I don't think I can do until I make it straight. Hang on. Let's <laughs> make it straight first. Make this bit straight first, then we can do it. Right, uh, I've got a moon and a bike there. Um, I'm only going to put a very, very thin pieces of lace or something on this. I'm not going to put anything too... Goes on the front here, doesn't it? Right. Um, I just I thought I didn't want that now, but I think I might do. I'll have that. I might fit there. It's got to go that way. Right. Uh, now we need to cut that out. There. <coughs> 
do have the pencils here. Line it up and make sure because the pencil makes a mark over past what you're doing, you know, like it's at the side of what you're doing, you need to cut the ins inside the pencil line, okay? So I put the pencil line here and cut inside it because it goes next to what you're doing, okay? And that's, that makes it uh, wrong because I want to go the other way. <laughs> Anyway, the flowers are growing up sideways. What can I say? Ah, <laughs> oh dear. All right. Does this fit in here? Mm. Take another bit off there. I'll just take a tiny bit more off it. Because that's not straight, is it? How do I manage that? And don't ask me. Now, have I got it around the right way? This way. Okay, can I fit in there now? Nope, a bit more. Couldn't I? I must have cut it way too big. I know you don't know what I'm doing yet, but I think I do. I think I know what I'm doing. I'll do it this way. You should see the mess I've got around me. It's not mess. It's it's ideas. It's it's my my ideas. Come on, get in there. Why won't, won't? Why won't you go in there? Oh dear, oh dear, Sonia. <laughs> okay, the envelope's crooked. I'm going to say that anyway. That's what I'm saying. The envelope's crooked. Take any more of that, that's not going to fit in there. I'm just trying to get a shape here. That's all I want is the shape of this thing. <laughs> Force it, make it go. Oh, there you go. Look at that. <laughs> oh, and it goes right down the bottom. Okay, now you're going to draw around here with a pencil that's reasonably sharp. You draw a line. Now you got it on the. You got this on the. Okay. What have I doing? Running over stuff. Take it out. Cut it out. Okay. I got the shot here. I'm out of frame. That won't be good, will it? And I'm hoping that I'm doing this properly. By going inside the line, just just on the inside of the line, no, no different from that. Well, that failed seriously, didn't it? How come I? We'll see. I kept cutting it out, didn't I, so I could get it to fit in the hole. Right oh. Okay. I'm not going to let that upset me. can't afford to, can I? Just not right. This is a big wrinkle here and I don't like it. It's going to happen though. There's nothing you can do about it, Sonia. Okay, so let's fix this. We're going to put that like this. Okay, so that's really not centre, is it? it? doesn't look to me to be. It would be if you moved it over that way. Is that right? I don't know. There's got to be another way I can do this. There's got to be something I can do to fix that. I do like to try and fix things if I muck them up. I'll do this again, okay? Try this again. I'll try not to get it wrong this time. to cut this 
one around the edge first. I won't fit in my guillotine if I don't. Right up. There's the marks. Okay. It's not on the edge there, is it? No, it's got to come in a bit. Sorry about this. Now, I have that piece, right? But the only thing was I couldn't get it down in there, could I? So how about... I suppose I could try again. Oh, crikey. It's going to go this time. What the heck? <laughs> Not sideways. Put it straight, Sonia. Put it straight in there. Well, it's not working because you're not putting it in there straight. It's got it hooked up with everything it possibly can be, which is not, <laughs> not a good idea. Yes. I don't edit my videos, <laughs> as you all know, because we want to see what happens, don't we? We need to know all these things. And they come on, go on to it. It's buckling up because it's not going in there straight, is it? The envelope's not straight. Something's wrong. Come on, get in there. Keep going. Patience. I'm going to get some patience at me. Now I know it's got to go down further than that. It's got to go all the way down in there, doesn't it? Look. Okay. Right. Get right at the bottom. Yeah, it looks to be a little bit wrinkly. Nobody panic about that. Now do this again. I'm going to have to see what I've done here. And it's lifting up because of its bulky bits here. Take that back out. <coughs> Excuse me. This has been a lot easier with fabric. I could have did it real easy with fabric. <laughs> it's more forgivable than, than what this is, isn't it, really? It's more forgiving. Now, I don't have it across the bottom. But you know what? I'm not going to worry about that because I'll, I'll change that. I'll fix it. What if I drop the scissors down there now? Um, trying to get on with this so I'll <coughs> get it made. Where's my paper? Okay. I'll show you what it's done. This is done. It's got to be done. Yes, it does. It's very thick, though. That's a, that's the thing I'm not really keen on. You know what? <laughs> I'm really sure that I could just do it without the envelope. Okay, has that got all the glue on all of it? Hope so. Might only let's do this bit. Now I want it to come up the top part. I want it, definitely want it to cover that, and both its side bits has to cover that. We're not going to worry about the bottom just yet. It doesn't stick on there. Right. You need to burnish this on here really good. <laughs> yeah, really good. Okay, and now we need to turn it over really good. And this bit, really good. And that's too long there because it's going to stick out the side. Look at this. See how it's coming over there? I don't know. We'll cut that off. <laughs> we'll just cut that off. That'll fix that bit, won't it? Get the scissors back. I have to use the short ones. I can't reach down there. I'll fall on my nose. Okay, let's put this down here. Okay, now. I thank everybody for all the lovely comments that you made when I put up that video about that poor person that was so horrible to me. And um, I really appreciate everybody's uh, support and um, and that on there. So thank you very much for that, everyone. To everyone out there that supported me. Um, come off there, whatever you are. Get off there. Okay, so now we have that. Right. Now, for the next bit, we're going to put a couple of little bits of stuff on there. I'm pressing it. <laughs> I'm just doing a bit of pressing down while I'm having a look to find what I'm 
and we'll need to put it on there to make what I want it to look like. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to make it too much thicker, you're never going to be able to close it, so yeah. Not too much thicker, you're not going to be able to close it. Right. Move the cart back a bit. A bit of lace. A bit of lace. That's cotton, it's not lace. <coughs> I think these are too thick. You don't need too thick, on you? On, let me see what we got here. I'm trying to make a, a journal not not using lace. <laughs> that doesn't work for me. It really doesn't. Or or paper or fabric. I do like to have some fabric on my things. <clears throat> I need something thin that's going to sit on there nicely and help disguise any of the bits that are wrong, you know what I mean? <laughs> you just need something that's going to be, it's going to look good and then you can see what it's going to be like. What are we going to put across the bottom here? You can see through that. We don't need that. We can see through it. How about this bit? You can see through that too. You can see that pink. It doesn't matter. At least let's say that. Let's say it doesn't matter you having a bit of pink. A bit of pink's okay. I right, know. I'm gonna have a bit of pink. Nobody panic. Now this stuff's falling out here real fast today, isn't it? No, you're not putting that on. Uh, I'm just looking to see if I can see anything a bit thinner. And I really can't, so this will have to do me for the day because it don't look too bad. I don't mind that. It's quite good. Now, I've got a bit down the bottom hanging off this end, and that's okay. Maybe not because I'm going to think about the side bits that I'm going to be putting. It's going to come down there too, isn't it? So let's, let's not think, let's not do that then. <coughs> I'm use this bit of. Uh, time is going really fast on me today. I got up at eight o'clock, or a bit, 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 bit past eight o'clock, because it was that cold. I, well, I didn't really know because I was asleep. <laughs> when I got out of the bed, then you know how cold it is, eh? Now that's going to bend there, and I've got a little. It's got a little, little crinkle. I don't really mind if it's got a crinkle. I don't mind. And these pieces are going to go down there. <coughs> they might have to go on the inside as well by the look of this. Okay. So we would do this, wouldn't we? We could do that. What do you reckon? Yes. We'll do that. <sighs> because we've got this edge here that's got... Right here. Now, if we put the little middle of the flower fair over the edge of the thing, we put go on both sides, didn't we? Ah, hmm? <laughs> uh, yes, I hope so. You did, but it's not. It's disappearing. What's, what's the go with that? What does that all mean? It's all disappearing. Obviously, there's not enough glue. All right, Let's put some more on there in a minute. Just want to get some the general idea of how big it's got to be so I can cut it off. I might have a little bit extra, just so I can manoeuvre it. But if I need to get off there, thank you. Mm, so I just. Been, I've been shutting side now, only a week again. <laughs> oh dear. Well, not actually, but I just um, can't go out there when it's too cold. I did one day, and it was 11 degrees, and I thought it wasn't too bad, but by the gee, when I got home, 
There was no way I could get warm. I could not get warm. Should have jumped in hot shower, I suppose, because that does work. This needs a clip on it or something to keep it. You said up there to keep it from um, keeps coming off. <sighs> Come on, something will do me. One of these here, look. Put a paper clip here. Hold that on there. <clears throat> this one. Okay. Oh, well, I'm kind of like that. That looks pretty good. <clears throat> now, you can put paper on this part, I suppose. The only thing I don't like is the fact that the paper doesn't, like, like it's all crinkly, isn't it? It doesn't bend. Very good. <laughs> it doesn't bend very good like fabric does. That looks good. I think so. Do you think so? I think so. Yes. I've got it all in the bag. You'd think I could get it out of the bag and use it. Might be a good idea. <coughs> the lace. It's all sitting in the bag there. Okay. Now I'll put that up there. You want it to be in the same place as the other side one. Yes. And it only takes a bit to, you know, and it's all getting stuck to my fingers. The glue's all on my hands now, right? It's all on my fingers. It's not on the thing. Maybe I should just do one side at a time. I should do, Sonia, because you're going to... you wiped all the glue off on your own hands now. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Just put it there. And leave it for a minute. Make sure you just got it in the right place. Right and cut this bit off. Okay. Well, you don't really need to put it on this part. Okay. Because, and I need it to be exactly the same on both sides if I can. Now, yeah. this over here. Um, because it's, it's, well, it's the front bit and you don't really need it across there. Anyway, do you? And it's probably not round far enough either. This probably just take it round a little bit further. I don't know. Maybe if we did this with gloves on, we wouldn't stick to it. <laughs> that was a silly idea, but still, we wouldn't. I don't know. <laughs> it wouldn't be stuck to it. You could do this with music paper or. Something like that, you know, it'd work really good, but you need to get one that's not going to bend or whatever because I think it'll. I'll put this thing on here now, that one should be dry. Hold that on there so it doesn't. Well, if I'd have, wanted, if I'd have paid attention, I could have put lined them flowers up and the circle could. <laughs> if I'd have been paying attention to that, but I wasn't. I see it now, but that's okay. Anyway. Oh, let's put that back, back on there, Sonia. So then you just decorate how you want it to be besides the, the laces and things, okay? And I will put something lacified on there, I guess. I don't know if I could use this bit here. Put it fit around there. Mm, close to it, but then it is um, elastic -y one, and I worry about that. Not, um, I worry about them because sometimes they... One of them turned yellow when I did it one day. Anyway, so that's one of those, right? And you just stick that in your journal or put it on with a paper clip and have it at the side. You use it for the pocket to put stuff in. You can make this here with lined paper and put um, writing on there. You can write on it anyway, whether it's got lines or not, okay? And we should probably put a, a closure to... We might come back and do that another time for you, so I'll put a closure on it. I'll make some, probably, I don't know if I'll do one today. I'll see what happens. We won't come up on the same day, but I'll, we'll, we'll put a closure on it because we definitely need something, and that's not that's not stuck down, so that's not a good thing. Okay, so we'll get that, and we'll make sure it is stuck down this time. Get it turning over. Might be able to cut a little bit off that. Whoop. It is a little bit crooked, as we can see. Just a bit. And if this will cut it. 
I need to do a sliver. See, this is only, only took a sliver off. You've got to be careful. Just better to, if it's more than a slither that you have to cut off, just start with a slither anyway, okay? So it doesn't end up wrong. Yeah. I would I probably could put something like that up there. We'll see. But anyway, so that's that one there done for you. So thank you everybody for watching and I hope you've enjoyed making them out of your envelopes. And if you don't want to do that, I'm sure you can figure out how to make it without using the envelope. Actually you could do it. I'll come back and I'll show you one day how to do that, okay? Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.